Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in the first Ascendant, we are going to go over and talk about the Tamer weapon. I'll show my build, judge it as you will. This is me shooting down hard mode Dead Bride, and the idea behind that Tamer is pretty simple. As you can see, it's a bullet hose. It's a light machine gun. It is meant to just shoot the enemy very fast with many bullets at once. It doesn't have a lot of crit stats, and it doesn't have a ton of side stats outside of fire rate, large magazine, and a lot of damage. And as you can see, the damage right there is not actually that bad. If you ramp it up and get the damage maxed out, Nah, that's not what I wanted. The damage is quite good. And the reason we want to talk about the Tamer is because it's everyone's favorite gun. It is a gun that you can get before endgame very easily. It's not an ultimate. It's uh, one of the purple tier. I don't know if that's epic or rare in this game right now. But it's a purple tier gun, so rare. It's a really good gun. If we want to talk about substats, I would say firearm attack get some sort of element like Toxic, get bonus firearm attack versus Colossi, and then the last one, you can just kind of go with whatever. I would prefer probably weak point over firearm critical hit damage myself, but eh, it is what it is. It doesn't like really matter overall that much because once you have firearm attack, an element, and bonus firearm attack versus Colossi, I'd say you're probably pretty good on substats. The one thing you need to know about guns is the outright DPS here, while it does matter a little bit, it doesn't really matter a ton. Because you get a ton of hidden DPS such as sharp precision shot, you get a lot of hidden DPS such as increasing your rounds per magazine, and you get a lot of hidden DPS with the elemental damage as well as weak point damage. So this is currently my build on the Tamer. If we want to take a look at just base stats of the Tamer, it has high firearm attack, high fire rate, and high round per magazine. So that's where we're going to get most of our DPS from, okay? While it has some crit and crit chance, you could build it up for crit. And honestly, maybe if you're doing this sort of build, use these last two for crit and swap out weak point sight for another elemental attack, uh, like attribute attack type of mod, but that's what I'm going on. It doesn't have the most crit, so really if you try to hard stack crit, you're not going to get the most out of the weapon. You definitely want a hard stack firearm attack, fire rate, and rounds per magazine. IMO. Like, that's what I would recommend, but you can always change things up. It does have 1x weak point damage, so... Weak point damage is not amazing. That's why I'd say you probably want to swap out weak point sight if you don't like shooting out weak points at all. And you can swap that out for just, you know, you know uh, whatever you feel like. I'd say more attribute attack, but it's up to you. And then just overall, it has attack drop off modifier. It has high max range, but none of that really matters too much. Hip fire, shot accuracy. What matters is that attribute status chance isn't super high, but you shoot so many bullets that it doesn't really matter and you don't need to worry about that. So why is this my build that I'm going with? I would always throw on fire rate because really you can only throw on one type of fire rate mod at a time. So just the general fire rate mods good. You can also throw on if you want like one of the other ones, but I don't have those maxed out or built up so I wouldn't bother, right? You could throw on crit hit rate, damage or weak point firearm attack one there but it won't make a massive difference but if you have the other ones built out yeah throw on one of those if you so choose but i just have this fire rate up built up so i throw that on for now i threw on sharp precision shot what it does is it outright reduces your fire rate but while you pull the trigger it increases your fire rate reduces your recoil and increases your firearm attack every half a second for up to 10 stacks 10 stacks meaning you will get 40% fire rate for a total of plus 20% because you lose 20%, you will gain minus 50% recoil, and you will gain 60% fire arm attack, which means you'll do a lot of damage, and you'll stack up more fire rate and firearm attack. It is ultimately, thank you so much for the prime sub, the decision between using a sharp precision shot on a light machine gun with a lot of uh, magazine capacity, or using mental focus. What mental focus does is similar, 
but it's minus fire rate when firing a firearm, firearm attack plus 25% for 2S up to 150 seconds. So this one, you can get a ton of buffs as well. So it's really, which one do you want? Okay, do you want to do mental focus or do you want to do sharp precision shot? In my opinion, sharp precision shot is better. Uh, let's see if we do 0.25 at times 150. It's not even a huge boost to firearm attack compared to the sharp precision shot difference. So honestly, I would go a sharp precision shot. I think it's not even as good as a sharp precision shot, but I don't know, man. It's up to you. I just do not think mental focus is worth it. Because you only get like, yeah, you only get 37.5% firearm attack and you still lose your fire rate. So sharp precision shot is the ultimate light machine gun, I would say, attack. Ultimate light machine gun mod and it's very good. You can only have one ultimate special mod on and this is the one I would always choose for tamer. It goes between these two, but Mental focus, just it's not good enough. It doesn't add enough damage. Sharp precision shot just has better fire attack, firearm attack, better fire rate. It's just better, man. So yeah, judge it as you will, but that's what I choose. I will throw on expand weapon charge as well, just to have straight up more attack on my rounds per magazine to add more attack via sharp precision shot, right? It's all to like add up and add more damage and just bullet hose harder. Attack, or sorry, action and reaction for more attack and rifle reinforcement for more attack adds up to like 100% almost. It's like what, 90, yeah, it's 93%, not bad, not bad. Concentrate support ammo for rounds per magazine. You can do different one, like different rounds per magazines one. You could do weapon tuning, which is probably gonna be better overall, but I just happened to do this one first. So I will level things one at a time. It's not a huge difference either way, because I think no matter what, you get that 30% rounds per magazine. It's just, you'd probably want a little bit more of just straight up firearm attack over there. So yeah, you know, probably swap that out there and then I'll level that up. And I have fire enhancement because just more damage via elements is good no matter what, because this adds just straight up attack. It doesn't add DPS, but it adds straight up attack. So I would probably use this or just a type of elemental buff. And again, if you don't want to use weak point sight, which I totally get, you might not want to try to look for an attribute attack like any one of these, maybe chill priority, maybe toxic gun barrel or one of the other priority mods because it adds reload or decreases reload mod uh, time modifier. I'd rather have that than like a decreased fire rate, you know, so think about that. But this is currently what I have for my tamer build. It works out. It's strong and there will be other things I will swap around for it. If I go over and max the mod that I just chucked on it. So instead of adding a little bit of critical hit damage, now I add a little bit of firearm attack. It should do another little boost of damage, but hey, that is up to the game to decide via those sweet oh. DPS calculations. Cause it does calculate in reload time as well as magazine for DPS. It just, doesn't properly account for every little bit of buff, such as your yellow mods. But this only increases my firearm attack by 1%. So I, I just want to see if this is more of a boost or less of a boost compared to that other mod. So if we go here, we have rounds per magazine and I could swap this out and oh, the crit is a little bit better. I thought that might be the case, even with low crit, crit is still decent. So honestly, for these last general areas, maybe throw in a crit mod, a crit mod if you want to for damage and chuck off weak point if you don't like shooting at weak points for an attribute attack mod. That's what I would say you might wanna do. It's just, there's only so many mods you can chuck on. So if you like weak point, throw on weak point, but crit hit damage, critical damage in general might be a little bit better. Oh God, critical, is it critical hit damage or critical hit rate? Yep, 
Critical hit damage overall might still be a little better to check on there. You could straight up go with something like better concentration, or you can go with one of the do -do -do priority mods, because these priority mods, it might take away reload time, but it will add a ton of crit damage. And as you can see, like that's a little bit of a DPS boost, no matter, because I haven't maxed this out yet. So it's still a little bit of a boost one way or another. I'm curious what everyone else is running on the Tamer. I've seen a ton of people throw builds out there. I think it's a good weapon and you should invest in it a little bit if you want to build it early on, but I wouldn't fully invest all of my Catalyst into it just because I don't think it's fully worth it because you have better ultimates once you can like grind things out. But I'm able to do pretty much everything in the game with this build. And if you want to, just throw on more damage and you should be able to kick ass. So judge it. Let me know what you think. You saw the damage on hard mode Dead Bride. But hey, let me know. I could take it to any sort of boss if you just want a quick DPS test. Such as like Devour. Just so you can see how it does. And I'm just going to stand there so you can just see the damage, okay? And if you like it, you'll like it. If you hate it, you'll hate it. And that's fine. I do need to do Dead Bride again, so let's do a little private interception so you can judge the damage. Now, this is hard mode Dead Bride, right? Difficulty 106, hard mode. I'm not going to cut it so that you can see. I don't know why, but when I was running with my Tamer, I had my other hard mode boss guides. People were like, no, that's normal mode. And I'm like, what? People were going crazy in the comments, and I don't quite understand why because these are hard mode bosses. I mean, they're not that hard once you build up. I might die once or twice. My Ajax build is not full. And yeah, if you wanna build up your damage more, just choose Descendants that boost your attack a little bit, such as Enhanced Shield on Ajax. So now my damage will be a little higher. This is why we're using Tamer. So you just bullet hose. As you can see in this section to the left, the green area, the gun gets fully buffed about halfway through the magazine. So then you just keep on shooting and you get a lot of damage. When you get those occasional crits, you see the damage is like 42k. You can see some weak point damage there, but it's a little bit hard to hit the weak point damage. That's why I would probably recommend swapping out the weak point damage for attribute attack. But when you hit those weak points, oh, does it hit. So you can really see, once they like bend over, once you get quick access to the weak points, you get a lot of added DPS. And it really does help a lot. Let me replenish my supplies right here. She'll do that. I just need to run away. But that is like a big amount of that sweet tamer damage. Whether you like the tamer or not, or like LMGs or not, you gotta admit, it's still a good gun. Like, love it or hate it, you gotta admit it's a good gun, okay? It's a strong gun. You'll kill a lot of pretty much everything, no problem if you use it. Make sure you don't get frozen by Dead Bride. I'm not even going for her uh, weak point on this. It's not that hard to shoot out, right? Even this Tamer, it has the damage to shoot out the weak point somewhat easily. Just as you could see there, as an example. So make sure you to target focus all of those weak points for added damage if you're doing this sort of build. Again, you can just swap it off and it's not a big deal. That's the thing I like about First Ascendant in any type of game like this is there's a lot of builds you can do and anything works. As long as you like it, you're fine. Like there's no need to overthink it. You don't need to go with the most optimal build every time. As long as you do a lot of damage, you're probably gonna be okay. Let's pop that weak point. Nope, went into their invincibility phase again. See, you can quickly pop a weak point right there if you have the damage, and as I said, we do have the damage, so we can do that. I do need some health, so I'll shoot out the enemy there. Like, the annoying thing is uh, your recoil, or accuracy is not good, so it's harder to shoot weak points like this from a distance. But there we go. With that added weak point damage, it really does help. Plus, again, we have added damage to Colossus. So we do, no matter what, decent enough damage. You really want to get the DPS down on Colossi while they're hunched over, or while someone is on their weak point so that they don't like build their frenzy meter. But that is how, with this build, you do a quick little 
three minute or so hard mode dead bride. Bada bing, bada boom. Pretty easy, right? So that is the full entirety of my current tamer build. I will replace it with Enduring Legacy later on, and I'm just going to mess around with it maybe like a little bit more, but I think that's the full build. I don't think it's worth building a ton more because you will just replace it with ultimate weapons later on. I'm also replacing it with like Greg's Reverse Fate, so yeah, not too bad. Let me know what you think of the gun, let me know, know what you think of the build in the video, and let me know what your type of general uh, build is for this gun, but that, that's the details on that bad boy. Oh, look at that history, and it looks pretty cool. So, sub, like, use epic, or sorry, first descendant creator code, pupsker, hashtag 8809. And I also have a epic games creator code, pupsker, just pupsker. So, thank you all for watching. Cheers.